Hello, hello, hello. Christopher Adventure Van, straight from Poland. Uh, I'm very excited today because one of our special vans came back from a journey. And this is the Pan American, the 4x4 Sprinter, which we've built uh, in 2018. And uh, in 2019, it went to South America to do the Pan American journey. And it went also across United States from Florida to, <coughs> to LA. And after 47,000 kilometers that they performed since they left our shop, it came back. Uh, it came back just a couple of days ago to Poland, to Gdańsk. It was on Thursday and straight from there it came back to us. So I'm very excited to see that the van that took so many kilometers and it took some beating actually because the owner used it very well <laughs> it came back so as you see there is a big change on the van because there is a lot of paintings this is what they were collecting over the journey from local artists or people they met on the journey they've collected some stickers some paintings and so on and these are the countries that they have visited since they uh, left our shop except Africa because the African journey they did with a uh, land cruiser and then in South America this is how they went you know Paraguay, Uruguay, Argentina, Chile, Peru, Bolivia, Ecuador, Colombia, Panama and United States and I'm very very excited <laughs> very excited because I see the van that it is exactly the same shape except some breakdowns obviously but it's the same shape inside as we uh, build it and as it left from our shop like the whole furniture and everything is just the same what happened in the van is that uh, this uh, happened in, in Patagonia there was such a big wind there that when the guy was opening the doors the wind took the doors out and rammed them out this is uh, left over from Patagonia and here we had some LED lights but there was um, a little crash with an animal unfortunately and the headlights got down but the bumper the bumper is in the same place it served its, its job uh, generally from main main structure in the outside of the car these are just the two two elements which got uh, mechanically broken by the owner otherwise everything is in the same position everything is in the same shape so i'm very happy uh, the owner of the car is not such a youtube guy so he asked me that he does not want to be on the movie but i did some uh, talking with him and he told me that overall in the journey they had little little problems with um, some small stuff like i will open the the hood let's open the hood they had some little little minor breakdowns like in Peru this pipe got, got a hole and they had some some uh, not proper airflow so they had to repair that uh, they did some oil changes they did some um, brake changes and in Texas in America this part died this is um, this is a unit which which works with the fuel line so main main two breakdowns they had with this car was just this pipe and just this unit here i mean that's that's a very very less uh, breakdowns if you uh, if you do such a long journey i mean 47000 kilometers the car served well and let's go to the inside now because i am sure that you want to see the interior of this car uh, so these are all paintings that they've gathered from the whole journey. Let me look, everything works like it was brand new, pretty much. Well, the van got a little bit used, obviously, there it has some scratches and some defects, like this stuff. The guys in the port, they put the wheels inside, the big wheels, the BF Goodriches, so they destroyed this a little bit. But we will be um, refreshing the van in the winter time. Here we have the cooker. Here we have the sink, I mean, everything works fine. The mattress and the layout, the furniture, the cabinets, I mean, come on, this is so strong. 
it can never be <laughs> it can never be destroyed i'm so so happy to see this car and obviously the the main thing all of the souvenirs from the journey oh that's fantastic i love rio rio de janeiro they went really 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 many case so uh what we like the most is the polish producer abem a refrigerator which is like really one of the top quality refrigerators that is possible to get on the market this is a polish product uh, you can order it through us it takes only two amps when uh, it's fully operational so pretty much uh, in this car this refrigerator was working non-stop for one year non-stop every day without the brake okay so the window here that's working as well that's nice here we will have to probably this is a mechanical damage this is a funny part and very 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 funny part about the whole journey and the van is i mean look this all looks exactly the same it's just a little bit dirty the car just came like a couple of days ago from this journey so it must be a little bit dirty but this all looks fantastic this all looks good quality <laughs> i'm so happy but anyways back to the back to the to the back of the van that's a pretty funny thing uh, <laughs> the sun in south america was so strong that the first time ever we've seen something like that we are making these blinds here right the thermo isolated blinds and look it was black and the sun faded the color so badly <laughs> you can see how how the straps were here and how this ninos abordo sign was here as well so that's <laughs> very funny to see that's very funny to see this stuff i mean here as well take a look so if you go to south america you have to be careful because the sun there is very very aggressive <laughs> yeah i don't know if you have any more questions about the van and the journey you can follow our facebook page because we've been posting quite a lot of pictures from their journey and nevertheless i cannot provide you with more infos like straight i cannot but if you make a list of questions in the comment section then i will ask the owner uh, to answer these questions for you and we will make another movie or we will be just um you know answering your your stuff so i hope you guys liked the tour of the pan american and let's just take a look let's just take a look at one more thing uh, the kilometer stand because as i told you the car was leaving from our shop with 207,000 kilometers on the clock and now we have now we have 255,907 kilometers so overall the van made 48,000 kilometers since it left one year ago from our shop they left in may for the first test journey and then uh, they returned the car to us for some final uh, touches and from september last year they were driving all the time so i'm really really happy with this car we did a really really good job here this car keeps a lot a lot of memories and the owner by the way in the beginning he thought that he will sell this van when they finish pan american journey and they will continue their journey in a different way but he told me that this car he won't ever sell <laughs> and we will prepare this van in uh, january for some new adventures because next year they will also start a quite a big journey and they will do it in pan american aka elefanta so have a good guys have a good day guys see you next time